and welcome to Wageningen University in Research. I'm Julia and today I'll be joined by people from the Master's Program of Leisure, Tourism and Environment. And before we start, I'm going to ask them to do a brief introduction. Hi, my name is uh, Ayan Bellis and I'm the study advisor of this program. And I'm Joshua Mbogo from Kenya, Master's student under this program. Now, what is the main focus of this program? Well, the, the main focus of the program is, first of all, it's about tourism. Uh, it's a tourism studies program, which is uh, research-oriented, so we uh, really want our students to, uh, to provide or to get better analytical skills in studying the world of tourism. Uh, and it's not just about research, but also about sustainable development uh, of, of the industry, which definitely is a need for uh, more sustainable practices. And Joshua, why did you decide to choose this program? Well, uh, my background is in tourism, and I have some experience in uh, working in conservation field, and uh, the program is very unique the way it is made up, because uh, it has a, a focus on international perspective and uh, also the sustainable aspect. Uh, and for me, I felt um, this would be the good place for me to gain that international experience uh, from the dynamic uh, of the participant as well as the, the lecturers. Yeah. And you talked about different foci. Are there many specializations in this program? Well, it's good that you mentioned that we actually don't have specializations in this program, but we have so-called research trajectories. And these research trajectories, they help students to prepare for their master thesis, uh, and also to think about their career uh, after this program. And uh, we have uh, four specific research trajectories. First one is on tourism and development, which focuses on urban and uh, rural development as well. And we have a, a research trajectory on tourism and natural resource development, uh, one on tourism experience and placemaking, and uh, a final one which is more on global mobility to global flows of people and goods, which is a, a trajectory called tourism and global mobilities. And how would a student choose between the four of these? Well, what we do is uh, when students arrive here in, uh, by August, September, when they start the program, they have a meeting uh, with the study advice with me. Um, and then we look together what their specific interests are and then we custom make uh, their program and then they will have to select one of these trajectories uh, throughout the first year in which they have to select two out of four specific courses that are tied to any of these four trajectories. And on base of that they can slowly start preparing and thinking about their future uh, research careers. And what are some of the courses that they might take? Um, well, it depends first of all on the trajectory that they uh, will follow, but um, in general every student is uh, forced to follow three uh, core courses. The okay. uh, first course is, uh, is related to all the well, various kinds of social science perspectives uh, that are in tourism studies. Um, so that can go from sociological to psychological perspectives, think about uh, modernity, postmodernity, etc. Um, and they uh, introduce the whole field of tourism studies. Then there is a second compulsory course which is uh, targeting sustainable development of tourism. Uh, and students also uh, learn both theory but also more the practice, practical side of uh, working on tourism development, focusing on sustainability. And since we are a research oriented program, we also have a course which is focusing primarily on research methodologies that are relevant for tourism studies. And what course would you say has been your favorite so far? Uh, well, every course is uh, uniquely designed, but for me, I would say I have two uh, most interesting courses, and one of it is a concept and approach. It's, um, it's a course that prepares you to understand um, how to, to focus on every perspective. And um, the other course is on um, sustainable development. Um, we have a lot of interest on tourism and development, and. Uh, the aspect of sustainable development is, is, a, is a dynamic thing and it is now being addressed in the, in the modern world. And for me, those two courses have formed a very uh, interest aspect for me. And um, it makes me to think critically on which approach to, to focus on, on issues on development. Nice. And could you give some examples of thesis topics that have been done by students lately? Yeah. I've selected four uh, thesis uh, projects that are aligned with the previous research trajectories that I uh, discussed before. Uh, first one with regards to tourism and development is an example of a student who followed tourism development in a national park in Peru. Um, second example is related to uh, tourism and natural resource management. Uh, a student that followed 
the work of rewilding, making new wilderness areas across Europe and what role tourism could play in that development. Uh, with regards to experiences and placemaking, uh, there was an interesting research project uh, with regards to accessible tourism for people with a uh, disability, how they could experience tourism uh, when they're on a holiday. Uh, and a fourth example uh, with regards to global mobility, I think an interesting example is the role of Airbnb, for example. Uh, what happens when Airbnb is, uh, is taking over certain cities like the city of Amsterdam. Nice. And so besides the thesis, students also have to do an internship. How does the program help them find an internship? Well, they uh, quite often come to me first as a, as a study advisor and then we, throughout uh, their career here in Wageningen, we have regular meetings and we have a very wide network in which we can help students to get to the right kind of position. So we definitely help them out in getting a, a position. And then, so besides from the thesis, students have to do an internship and is there any help from the program or how do students help? Find an internship? Or? We often have the uh, luxury problem where we have sometimes more uh, internship opportunities because we're a relatively small program, uh, but we have a very good contacts with a whole network of people that we've been uh, working with, so with the industry, who are also advising us in this program. And uh, occasionally they are uh, launching different traineeships or positions that could be taken up by our students, uh, and uh, in the hope that we can all give them a spot. Awesome. And have you started um, a thesis yet? Uh, basically, I'm on my initial stages of writing my thesis proposal, which is very technical. You have to read a lot of articles so that you can get the connectivity of basically what you want to research on. And, um, my focus is on incentivized conservation, uh, and it is based on uh, payment for environmental services. Nice. And so after someone would graduate, what are some typical jobs that students might end up with? Uh, this differs quite a lot, uh, but uh, to give you some ideas, that around 50% of our students will actually remain in the tourism industry. Uh, a third uh, of the students will continue in academia, so the first step would be a PhD uh, uh, trajectory, which is another four years of study after your master's program. Um, but what you see, for instance, with uh, international students like, like Joshua, uh, students with, uh, that have graduated here in Wageningen, they often get a, a better promotion in already existing jobs that they were positioned in uh, back home, for instance in tourism boards that are organizing destinations. Um, think about consultants, uh, quite some mm -hmm. students who are, in, well, they're still interested in research activities, but uh, not within academia, but mm -hmm. they prefer to do this uh, in, the, in the business. So it, it differs quite a lot, but uh, yeah, uh, I think a, a core group of students or alumni, they are focusing on research uh, and that, or at, are having a job which requires analytical skills. And there's many opportunities, it seems like. Definitely, yeah. And so, what do you like most about studying in Bafana? Um, that's quite a good question. Studying here in the university is one of the unique things because uh, the interaction with the lecturers, the interaction with teachers, the dynamic uh, with different students who are coming from different backgrounds, and also, uh, there is more interaction in terms of it is a student-oriented approach. It is not a teacher-oriented approach. And, and that's, for me, it's a, one of the things that is very interesting. And also, the dynamism of, like, you, you are pushed to the edge. Uh, you are treated as a baby, uh, but the lecturer want to see this baby growing. Mm -hmm. And by growing, it means like that, that. <laughs> you have to be, you have to be, to show that you can critically think, critically um, give opinion, and give perspective on how you, you understand. So there is always a key way of like, how do you see it in your position? It is not how the lecturer see it. So that is one of the things um, that really makes me interesting um, and feel that uh, this is the place to be. And also the learning environment is also very nice. Yeah. And are you involved in any activities outside of the classroom? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, the unique thing also with the university is that uh, it has created an opportunity for students that they can take part in their individual individual extracurricular activities like different sports environment. But uh, within the Emery program, uh, the Russia Tourism and Environment, we also have a study association called Riseri, and um, I happen to be the secretary. And often we do some uh, uh, 
uh, study trips, like probably to Tesla Island. Wow. We'll, yeah, we'll also do some activities that bring us together, maybe barbecue. Sounds like a nice way to blow off steam. Oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. If you still have questions, please feel free to email us at students at word.nl or schedule a Skype meeting. And if you have any general questions about admissions or student life or anything else, please check out the video, The Essentials of Studying at Bachania. Thank you and hope to see you soon.